Hi, it's Dwyer. It is Saturday, August 8th, 2020. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Digitalassetlife.com, a free site. Let's talk what I'm doing in investing. I can't give investment advice, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm looking at. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I've been blessed and frustrated. Right? Chainlink has delivered for me. But I feel that this is probably the top of the first inning. Understand what Chainlink does, <clears throat> and we're talking about a cryptocurrency. What Chainlink does is it provides real world information in the crypto sphere. So if you have a smart contract with someone, and if you say, look, <clears throat> if the Dow Jones gets to X, then Y happens, right? If your smart contract has a contingency that hinges on something happening in the real world, well, you need a credible source that folks can't tamper with, certainly not the person with whom you have the smart contract, that can tell the parties exactly when why happens. Your smart contract should be self-executing. It should be the kind of thing where you say, hey, when why happens, I get Z. And then, of course, you go online one day and you see that you've gotten Z because why has happened. And the why has been verified by, right, the information slash price oracle, Chainlink. So make no mistake, Chainlink is invaluable to the crypto sphere. That's why Chainlink has zoomed by $10 a coin. Folks, it has one of the highest market caps in all of cryptocurrency. So I've been frustrated because there's a new competitor to Chainlink. And because of the importance of information slash price oracles, right, this coin has been going up exponentially. What do I mean by that? As I make this video, in the last 24 hours, the coin is up more than 40%. It is already ranked 51st in terms of market cap for all cryptocurrency. Now, I've been trying to get this coin the last few days and have not had success, right, for a variety of reasons. I was on the Kyber network. I didn't quite like the price. I was being finicky. I was also being foolish because had I bought the coin, I would have double digit returns right now. I don't know that. If you have coin price enabled, do you want to open it? So, as my digital assistant here in the background talks to me, the coin's name is Band Protocol. Right? The the symbol is B A N D. That's the abbreviation for it. It's Band Protocol. It is a information slash price oracle that's built on another coin you need to keep an eye on. Cosmos, the Cosmos Network. Now, Band Protocol has been on fire to the point where Coinbase Pro is going to list Band Protocol in a matter of days. I have to be a little bit hazy on the deadline because Co Coinbase Pro is going to do it on a rolling basis. In other words, early on, you can transfer band protocol, the Coinbase Pro. Then later, they'll allow you to do other things, trade, etc. Right? But just understand, information slash price protocols right now are the hottest things in the crypto sphere. Right? The hottest things. 
Because digital currency allows for the formation of smart contracts, something fiat currency can't do. You have an entire ecosystem right now being built to facilitate that and crucial to that ecosystem are Chainlink, its competitor, BAN Protocol. You also want to pay attention to the fact that you have different operating systems underneath all of this. So you have Ethereum, <clears throat> which right now is king in terms of all of these ERC coins that are out there right now, right? But don't lose sight of Cardano, which I believe is going to be huge and which, just compare the price of when I made my Cardano video to the price today, which has been up significantly. Right? I believe Cardano is going to be a winner. And then, of course, you have Cosmos, which I also believe is going to be a winner. Now, let me just say, I know there's a group in the cryptosphere that are Bitcoin maximalists, right? They believe that the only coin that's going to survive is Bitcoin, right? You have people like Max Kaiser. Trace Mayer won't talk about anything other than Bitcoin. Okay, fair enough. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. I own some Bitcoin. I support Bitcoin. But I believe you're going to have other coins, right, that actually facilitate DeFi, decentralized finance, right, coins that aren't there to be stores of value, rather coins that are actually designed to operate and facilitate smart contracts, right, if you haven't already Take a hard look at BAN protocol. Let me just say this too. The market cap on BAN protocol as I make this video is less than $250 million, right? It's small if you're into traditional legacy finance equity investing. When you hear of a market cap that's less than a quarter billion dollars, that's small, that's tiny. As I said, it's the top part of the first inning. By contrast, Chainlink's market cap's well north of a billion dollars, right? What I want you to do is to consider the fact that brand protocol ultimately is going to have a market cap of several billion dollars, right? Unless it gets hacked, unless it proves unreliable, if it's a credible information price oracle that can deliver information across different blockchains that parties to a smart contract can rely upon to enforce the terms of the smart contract. I believe this thing can go up well north of 5x. That's how I see it. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, right? I'll be loading up on BAN protocol when Coinbase Pro lists it, right? This coin is so new and small that it doesn't appear on exchanges like Binance.us, right? Please don't consider anything I'm saying here to be investment advice. I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing, my investment ideas that I like. Okay, let me hear from you the three coins that I'm looking at closely. I already own Chainlink. I already own Cosmos. I'm looking forward to owning Band Protocol. Right, the abbreviated symbol, if you're looking on sites like coinmarketcap.com, is B-A-N-D. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.